Time to get into our movie Jeopardy segment. So Cam had to leave the show. He's got some dad things to do. So it's just going to be George versus Seth today. Tyler, myself, as the host, as the reigning defending Jeopardy champion with a, <laughs> with a runaway victory. I felt it's only all fair, right, all right, bro. Okay, it's we, only get it, fair we get it. We get it to <laughs> remove myself. So shout out Isaac Hirschberger again for making these. These are super fun. I have not looked at any of these questions. We have the real close collection. We have franchise foes, movie title mashup portrayals of the past and celebrity name mashup so george you got your wish celebrity name mashup is back we also got movie title matchup mashup i'm guessing real close collection is going to be stuff we like three of us is a five and maybe one of us is a 4.5 4. 5. and then franchise foes don't really know what that's going to be in portrayals of the past maybe remakes of, of older movies but we'll see um so reminder for jeopardy um, what we're going to do since we're using a different recording software is basically George or Seth is going to say got it after I finish reading the entire question one of you will say got it and remember if you answer like if you say got it you have to answer and you get it wrong you lose points so that don't just try to you know family feud it where you just kind of try to answer everything so let's let's just jump yeah. right into it I'm going to be honest this is my first time hosting the Jeopardy so I'm going to hope everything works well for <laughs> for this this game that Isaac created for us but Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So flipping a virtual coin, it lands, flip it on my hand. Seth, you get the first pick for which category you want to go for. Take it away. Okay. Uh, I'll go, I'll go, re I'll go 300 real close collection. Start with the 300s. This pre 2000 sports drama shot in Seth's favorite color palette of black and white received a 4.5 star rating from all real talk members. Got it. Uh, it's got it. George. Oh, I said, what, what is Raging Bull? Fuck oh, you, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see how I can reveal the answer. Space Bull. Space Bar. Oh, I got it. What is Raging Bull? George I fucking go. Yeah. Good job. Easy W. Good job. All right. I think I know how to work this now. So that means it goes to George. George, you can pick the next category. Yes. Uh, I'm very curious for this movie title mashup. So we'll go for that for 100. Start easy. Start movie easy. title mashup, 100. A teenage boy, with the help of an older, eccentric mentor, uses a time-traveling car to travel to a faraway galaxy and confront his evil, estranged father in a duel. Got it. Seth. Fuck, man. Why have I done that? Uh, what is Back it. to the Galaxy? I don't fucking know. Got back it. to the God. No, I got it. I was going to say The Empire Strikes Back to the Future. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know, I didn't know uh, how stealing I, I can't lie. I Damn. thought it was Garden Galaxy. I thought it was Garden's Galaxy Two in the second mm. bit. That's so oh, sorry, George. Crazy. Sorry, George. What is the Empire Strikes Back to the Future? That, that's my bad. But now, now I'm I'm on track. I'm on track as a host. I'll I'll, I'll be better. Um, so since no one won that one, George, you get to pick the next category again. I'll go for movie title mashup two hundred. Movie title mashup oh, two hundred. A basketball playing golden retriever overtakes a prison transport plane and stages an escape after landing in the desert. I know the first one. I don't know the second. I know the. I know the. I know the first one too. Wait, a basketball. Player. What the hell is a got a dog? Yeah. What? I know that movie, but what the hell is the second one? All right. Well, we yeah. What's the five. second? Wait, wait. No, hold on. Hold on. Three seconds. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, and okay, George? okay, okay. Uh, Con Air Bud. What is Con Air Bud? Oh, good oh, pull. I haven't even what seen is, Con Air. Yeah, I was confused because like the Air Bud was first. Let's do the film. Con Air. I was, I was, yeah, that, that's what I was. I was thinking Air Bud and right. then something. I was like, what the hell? What, what, what yeah. are the films here? What are the films? Con, Con Air, Air and, and Air, Air, Bud. Air Bud. I haven't seen either of them. That's, You've never heard of Air Bud? Like super problem, bro. <laughs> George with the win. George, Watch next more movies, category. Bro. <laughs> next uh, category. Movie title mashup 300. I'm not gonna... After finding evidence of aliens in a briefcase in the wreckage of an intergalactic drug deal in the desert, a man is hunted down by a psychopathic killer and a secret government government agency sworn to protect the aliens. I don't know, man. After finding evidence of aliens. This is tough. I have no idea. Either film. Killer and There's too killer. many words in my brain. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking something with men in black, but I really don't know. All right. Yeah, gonna... No one got it. No. What is no country for old oh, men? Uh, oh, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's creative. Creative. Damn. All right. Um, George. That's fucking creative. Pick I don't know you thought that. That's, That's crazy. so annoying. Uh, we'll go franchise foes for 100. Why did George get to pick again? Because he, he's the latest one who no, got it. No, I didn't, right, I didn't answer. He, well, he, yeah, he didn't uh, answer. Okay. But he's yeah, it's, it's, until someone else gets it right, uh, okay, then, then okay. he gets it. 
Yeah. So George is going to paint the whole time. This superhero what, franchise. Uh, got it. This superhero franchise had villains played by Willem Dafoe, Alfred Molina, and Topher Grace. And got it. S- got it. Seth, you got to wait till the the answer. The question is fully read. So George, you get first. <laughs> Uh, oh, give me I the mean, home, man. I, I'm, I'm assuming they're looking for what is Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. What is okay. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man? Yep. <sighs> George, next one. I'll go franchise foes for 200. This action franchise has a stellar villain gallery with Philip Seymour Hoffman, Sean Harris, and Henry Cavill each getting a turn. Got it. Got it. <laughs> give me that shit. No, I it. got uh, it. Right. George got it by a hair. <laughs> Wait, what no, it? on mine, it sounded like I got it. <laughs> I will. No, on mine, it actually sounded like I was like three seconds before. No. I will start to account for the lag because the UK and far yeah. away. So I'll start to count for that going forward. So people <laughs> listening, if it sounds like, if it's close and George gets it by a little bit, I'm going to start giving it to Seth because I know there is. Oh, give it me that. On. But no, the, no, this, no this, this, one, this one's George though. From now on, I'll be better. What? I genuinely on my right, seriously, I'm not lying. On my end, I was like two seconds before. Yeah, I got my that. end, that's not my fault. Yeah. That's not my fault. I know. I'll account that's for crazy. It. <laughs> I'll account for it going forward. That's George, crazy. George. Yeah, but this is the only one that I'll get right in the whole fucking board. I need these points. George, get your what points. Is, that's crazy. What is Mission oh. Impossible? <laughs> what is Mission Impossible? That's crazy. All right. So now everyone listening, just know that if you hear George first by like a couple, like two seconds, I'm gonna. Yeah, and you'll still give it him. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> George, George, uh, what what do you got next? I'll go movie title mashup for four hundred. I like this a guy. socially inept genius capable of counting toothpicks in seconds discovers he has superpowers and defends Earth against invaders from his home planet. Oh, I know the first one. I ah, uh, I know the first one. Fuck. Oh, I actually know this one. I'm gonna guess if he yeah. doesn't get it. I don't know. Hold on. A socially inept genius, cape got blah blah blah. In seconds, discovers he has superpowers and defends Earth against invaders from. I'm actually stoked that I got this one. Shit. I have no idea. I have no All idea. Right. What is Rain Man of Steel? Ah. Oh, Bam. I knew Rain Man. How did I not get I Man of I Steel? Seen, I haven't seen Rain Man. Fuck. I'll go real close collection for two hundred. This holiday classic received a 4.5 star rating from all Real Talk members, although Seth did give the sequel a five star rating. Got it. Got it. Seth. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that one's Seth. Uh, what is before. Home Alone? I said that is Home Alone? so before Seth. That was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, oh, seriously, I'm not lying. I'm mine. I'm like seconds before you. Seriously. No, like. It's like, oh. Tyler, when we do this with Kian as well, it was the same thing. I was, mm-hmm. like, so far yeah, behind Yeah, that's him. when I learned, really my, learned my lesson was that you and Kian were, like, getting my feedback way off off time. Um, so, yeah, next, Seth, you get to pick the next category. Uh, Real Close Collection 500. Ooh. This foreign film released within the last 10 years received a 4.5 star rating from all Real Talk members. Very vague. It. it could be any. George. Really? You got it. Uh, I mean, this is an absolute assumption and a pull because I'm, I think, I think, I think Seth gives us a five out of five, so I might be losing these points. Uh, what is Portrait of a Lady on Fire? Mm. Yeah, you're wrong. It's, it's not. Decision to leave. No. I was going to say decision to leave. I, I swear to God. <laughs> no. What the fuck? Tyler, I swear to God I was going to say what is decision to leave. What? I promise you I was going to say what is decision to leave. It's, it's okay. It's okay. This guy's trying to fuck me out of so many points. It's crazy. Um, yeah. I didn't even get a guess. Yeah, we we, we should the... get. Yeah, the other person I... should get a chance to guess. Okay. I swear to God, I was gonna say what is decision to leave. I promise you. Uh, All right. Well, I pro- that's crazy. I promise you, I will be better on the next one. Um, I've got fucked out of five, <laughs> like seven hundred points. It's in still this neck game. and neck. Seth, you get to pick the next category. Uh, yeah, now it's neck and neck. Well, it doesn't matter what I pick. I'll still get it wrong according to you. Real close collection, four hundred. This Oscar-nominated film depicting an aging outlaw coming to grips with his mortality received a 4.5 star rating from all Real Talk members. Aging outlaw. That's that. That's getting me. Aging outlaw is getting me. Wow. What? Coming to grips with his mortality. Hmm. I'm stumped on this one too. But we've I, all I reviewed it at 4.5. Yeah, the movie I have in my head, I don't think I'd give a 4.5, so I'm not going to guess that. Oscar-nominated right. film. Three seconds. Asian Outlaw? I, I, I'm not going to get it. What is this, like Ringo uh, uh, or something? What is Puss in Boots? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I love no that. Way. That got me thinking of some like I was thinking of some like Western or some shit. Yeah, but, the, yeah that's what I was. Yeah, thinking. that that's one that if you gave me twenty four hours to think, I would have never. Came up with I would have never but, pulled But it that. is valid. It is valid. Seth, next category. Oh my god. Uh, real close question. One hundred. So this swashbuckling adventure movie from 2003 received a 4.5 star rating from all Real Talk members. Got it. Seth. Got it. What is Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of Black Pearl? Yeah, good pull. Seth. Yeah. With How is that's a hundred? Fuck sake, man. <laughs> good pull. We are a 100 point um, game about halfway through. Seth, next category. <laughs> Everyone's avoiding this. I'll go front. <laughs> yeah. I'll go <laughs> franchise. <laughs> franchise foes 300. Despite capable actors such as Charlize Theron and Idris Elba playing villains, this franchise's latest films have mostly poor ratings from the Real Talk crew. Got it. Got it. George, that, that one was close. That was really close. But really? Was... What? <laughs> oh, my God. It sounds uh, like me. <laughs> what, what is sake. the Fast and Furious? Seth, do you have a guess other than that? Uh, or was that, wow, was that, that a No, I was going well, I, I, I don't, I was gonna say Fast and Furious. I don't get to see the answer unless I reveal it. So that's why like, you have to uh, give me a... So, okay. I was going to say Fast and Furious. Okay. So, yeah. What is Fast okay, and Furious? I was going to say, if, I was like, what other franchise did both of them play a villain? Because <laughs> I think the problem Jesus. the problem is that I shared the screen and Cam had it on his. So like Cam was able to see the answers without yeah. it being shown, but I'm sharing the screen. So, um, yeah. I, I that's when you, you got to pull out the iPad and get it up. That's why Wait, I wasn't. Do, do you think I should say got it? When you're like not finished, because I on my side I'm saying it like second. If I were you strategically, way. when I'm on like the third to last word, if you know it right away, I would say got it because I think that would be right. So I'm getting all of these. That's so whack. Um, I'll go fran franchise foes for four hundred. Benjamin Bratt, Jason Siegel, and jo South Park co-creator Trey Parker lent their voices as villains in this animated franchise. Jason got it. Siegel. Seth, I do not have this. What the fuck, man? What am I doing? <laughs> uh, cars. Need Cars. What is George, cars? George, do you have a secondary uh, guess? Oh. I, guess. I know I know what Benjamin Bratt's been in. I don't even know that. I don't know that is. But like I don't I don't I, I don't know if Jason Siegel was in this. Well just how many it. is this for? Oh, Four hundred? Well, Alright. It's okay. If I get this right, it's not like I'm losing. I'm gonna go with what is despicable me? Ooh. <laughs> oh fuck off. Man. What a poll. <laughs> I oh, only Jesus knew Benjamin Christ. Bratt. I did not know Jason Siegel was in that. I don't uh, know. I'll, I'll, go, I'll continue is. with franchise foes. We'll we'll cap that off at five hundred. This franchise adapted from novels had Dakota Fanning and Bryce Dallas Howard as minor villains. Bryce Dallas Howard. Dakota, Dakota Fanning. Fanning. <laughs> Dakota Fanning. Didn't know either of them had villains in their bag. What the fuck? I know what Dakota Fanning was. Okay, I got. I've it. got I've got a guess, but I don't want to say that. All right, yeah, well, George, you, George, what's your guess? Uh, I'm gonna go with what is Twilight. No, right. that's what I was gonna say. If, it's, if that's shout, right, I swear shout out me. Victoria for just. I'm gonna be so annoyed if that's right. That is for, right for Victoria. I honestly, Victoria just made me watch Breaking Dawn part. I'm one. dead. <laughs> that's the only franchise I can think of. But I was yeah, scared of losing. Yeah, I was trying to think of like so what like, recent like oh, in the novels. I was like Harry Potter. I've seen all of those movies and just don't remember them. Percy in them at all. Jackson. Because <laughs> um, who else is in that? Uh, Anna Anna Kendrick is in that. Mm -hmm. That that name also like came yeah. out of nowhere. Uh, I'll go movie title mashup for 500. We'll, we'll rack oh. this up. A crew of young teenage thieves are set to sabotage several Las Vegas casinos until they wake up one morning and discover they have aged overnight. Got it. Seth. Seth. I don't know how how to... I, don't, I know the two films, but I don't know how to do it. Right. Well, they should link together one of them ending with the first of the last one. Wait. Three seconds. Wait, where'd he go? Sorry, uh, I bailed. I don't fucking know. All right. Um, know. Well, you'll lose points. But George, do you have a guess or no? Like I know, I, I know one of the movies, and it's obviously I'm not gonna say it. But no, I'm not gonna waste my my pull. All right. I'm very curious to see this. Why well, did Ocean's I do that? Thirteen going oh, on thirty. Hmm. Oh, thank what's God. Go, what's going on? I thought it was Hangover. Yeah, I, I was thinking Hangover Same. or Hot Tub Time yeah. Machine. Can um, this guy pick films I've seen, please? <laughs> Um, uh, we'll go portrayals of the past for 100. In Netflix is the crown. Prince Charles is played by Dominic West, a native of this city, perhaps the greatest city in the history of the known universe. <laughs> so does anyone know where Isaac Hirschberger is from? Cause I feel like this is probably his city. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'll let Seth guess. Does, I don't know. I feel like he should get this. Yeah. It's gotta be an English city, right? I don't know. 
Where's Prince Charles from? <laughs> I don't actually know. No, I don't give. Anti royal family. So I I know I I know that I know I've got a guess, but like I don't want to get because I don't want to lose any more points. It's only a hundred. Do you want to throw out that guess? I don't. I thought he was from. Um... This has to be where Isaac Hirschberg is from, though. Like that just makes. It's called the greatest city. I mean, city. is it not just? Oh, it's not Prince Charles. It's Dominic West is a native of this city. Oh, not yeah. Not Prince yeah, Charles. Yeah. In Nephis, Grand Prince Charles. All right. Like, should I just go? Should uh, I just reveal the answer? Was, no one wants to risk against. Uh, I don't know who uh, fucking Dominic. I don't know who Dominic oh, yeah, West I, is. I was thinking of just where the crown is t- taking place. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking just London. But right, if it's well, where Dominic West is. I was is thinking from, like, where we'll Prince just reveal I have no history. idea. I don't know. Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Sheffield. That's crazy. That's so jokes. That's Bro about to link up after this episode. I um, really thought it was wow. just going to be fucking uh, celebrity name oh, mashup for 100. How is he not giving me questions of films I've seen if he's with from the same place? <laughs> Should we give me like four lions and shit? The first is the lead singer of Aerosmith. Wait, what is and this? Has a celebrity name mashup. The first is the lead singer of Aerosmith and has a famous actress for a daughter. The second is a highly educated and has degrees from Penn State, Wisconsin, and Arizona. Hey, I, I couldn't. I don't know what Aero, I couldn't name Highly one right. Aerosmith song. I have no idea what they are. Uh, I okay, fucking... I. I mean, I don't think this is it, but it, okay. This is a hundred. All right, so, uh, George. Is a second is a highly educated and has degrees. God, who is God? This is gonna be such a stupid guess if it's not right. Who is Steven Tyler Perry? Close. Who is Steven Tyler Whitmore? <laughs> 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 oh fuck off! <laughs> That's Damn, funny. Yeah. I forgot. Next. That's funny. Next. Up. Oh my god! All right, celebrity name Masha for two hundred. I love that I'm a celebrity in his eyes. The first already <laughs> won an Oscar for Best Actress at age twenty-two. The second has starred with Keanu Reeves in both the Matrix and John Wick franchises. I got this one. Wait, what are we doing? Celebrity oh, name okay. mashup. Who won an Oscar at 22? And then I feel like you, one of you guys have got to get this one. I really don't know. The second is starred with Keanu. I think I know the first, I think I know the best actress in one. Both John Wick franchises. So think of her last name. Who's what's that first name of? Who's been in John Wick and the Matrix? I can't. Trying to I lead you guys no there. No clue. All right, we'll we'll call it there. It is who is yeah. jo- Jennifer Lawrence Fishburne? Wow! Oh, oh shit. my god, she was twenty two. She won an Oscar at twenty two. That's no, crazy. I didn't realize Silver she Linings was Playbook. Next I didn't time. know she was. I was thinking a completely different actress. I was, I was not. Thinking, yeah, I was like Kate Winslet. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? All right, all right, let's go. Portrayals of the Carry Past Moss. for two hundred. Portrayals of the Past for two hundred. This former British prime minister has been portrayed by a host of acclaimed actors, including John Lithgow, Gary Oldman, and Brian Cox. Oh, my God. Who did Gary Oldman just play? Uh, who did Gary Oldman play? Oh, uh, yeah. Got it. Seth. Winston Churchill. Oh. Yeah. Believe that is right. Who, what, is, who is Winston yeah, Churchill? Yeah, I'll give it to you. I, Sorry. I'm not a Jeopardy stickler with that who is, what is nonsense. Get it, get it right next time, bro. Seth, when did John, next John Lithgow right? play him? Yeah, when did John Lithgow play that, him? That's an I have no casting. idea. That's an interesting casting. Um, Seth, next um, time. I'll go Betrayals of the Past 500. Betrayals of the Past 500. John Wayne was shockingly cast as a historical ruler, widely considered one of the worst castings of all time. Oh no! I know this, but I don't know the name of the guy. But I know like the controversy. I, oh god! I know got the controversy. It, got it, I can't got remember it. who it is. George. Got it. Got it. Got it. Who is Genghis Khan? Mm, I believe oh, that is right. Shit, yeah, that shit who was right. Genghis yeah. Khan. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, George, next uh, category. Uh, I'll go celebrity name mashup for three hundred. I'm so. Bad it is still. Yeah, it is still anyone's game, though. It is still anyone's game. Like honestly, Seth can it's, still win this score like, mathematically. It, it's. The first played the protagonist. He did, five, he did 500. Isn't that what he said? No, he said 300. Well, the first played the, the protagonist box. in Christopher Nolan's first studio theatrical release. The second had a four-movie run playing one of the Britain's most iconic characters. I can't remember who, what the guy's name was in that film. Oh, uh, got it, got it, got, I got, it, got, I got it, got it, got it. Too. George. Uh, really? Who is, who is Guy Pierce Brosnan? Yep, that's correct. 
who was Guy Pearce. Oh, Studio Theatrical Release. I know, that yeah, tripped me up I, too. I, I, I'm thinking, I, I was thinking, the, thinking, I'm thinking following. of following. I was oh, like, who the fuck oh. was in the following? It took me a second. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Um, yeah, I'll go Celebrity Name Mashup for 300. Celebrity Name Mashup 300. The first starred alongside Brian Cranston in Breaking Bad. The second plays the main villain in the movie that George has logged 10 times in 18 months on Letterboxd. Got it. George. Who is Aaron, Aaron Paul Dano? Aaron Paul Dano. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this fucking game. I hate it. I'm so ne- shit. Next time oh. we do this, I want Seth the host just because I think it'll be wild for like Cam, me, and George's like lag time of answering questions, and then we get to see what he feels of us being all. No, I want game. people to. I want people in the comments to tell me that I've been unfairly unjust in this game. <laughs> I should have. No, in the first it, two, okay. I should have at least. It was only two times where you said which that- were. 500 and 300. So right. I, at least give me some pride here. All I right. won't win. Don't get me wrong. I won't win. But, like, you know. Uh, George, next uh, category. Ce- ce- celebrity name mashup for 400. Oh, celebrity oh, name oh, mashup 400. Man. The first has starred in multiple films for both Fincher and Tarantino, as well as one for Chazelle. And the second is a rapper that hails himself as Mr. Worldwide. Who am I? Uh, got it. Seth. Uh, who is Brad Pitbull? Yep. <laughs> good, good, good work. Idea. I like that one. 400. Yay. I feel yeah. like that one was a little easier than a 400. Just saying. Yeah, that, Seth, that, yeah, I think I'll, Seth yeah. your, your next category. Uh, 400 portrayals of the past. Portrayals of the past 400. Tom Hardy and Robert De Niro have both portrayed this infamous American criminal. Got it. Oh, Seth. Damn. Go, got it. Al Cap- who is Al Capone? Yeah, good one. Nice. I did not know that one. Good pull. Good pull. Seth, I'm going to get in the positives. Just let me in the positives. <laughs> uh, which one should I go for? Uh, 300 <laughs> portrayals of the past, please. This famous military commander has been played by both Marlon Brando and Ian Holm and is the subject of a highly anticipated biopic yet to be released. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No idea. I can't remember the name. I can't zero. I can't remember. The only commander I saw some this who I know one of these guys playing, I do not think is like a real person, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, no one got it. it. Was. It's cold who now. is Napoleon? <laughs> oh, and is subject to a highly anticipated bio. We're yeah. stupid. My so mind went straight to General Kurtz. Crazy. I was like, is General Kurtz a real military, famous military commander? We're so Brando? stupid. Yeah, that's right. stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. well, that, that was wow. fun. Again, thank you for Isaac well, Hirschberger for making this. Well, Very fun, and well, we, we love that you make these, and always such creative categories. So please make more, and yeah, next fun. time we'll have fun. either Seth host or George host to keep keep switching it up to keep other people playing. But, yeah, that ends our Jeopardy session.